Hello and welcome to my review of the Blackstone Fortress Traitor Guardsman. Now the only way to get these at the moment is just through the Blackstone Fortress box set which will cost you £95. Hopefully they will be making a set of these um, separately. Uh, there are 14 models uh, in this, um, basically there's seven that are duplicated and you can't mix them up or change them. Yeah, I suppose if you've got some spare parts and things you could add them um, on them, but yeah, at the moment it's two squads or two units of um, seven. So I'll just show you the uh, models uh, individually um, and then we'll go through some size comparisons and finally uh, some rules. Uh, I was really, really excited. These were probably the models I was most excited about in the set, you know, new uh, Chaos, um, you know, Renegade. Astra Militarum uh, or Traitor Guardsmen uh, and they do look absolutely stunning and I hope that uh, Games Workshop build on these um, if Shadow Spear is anything to go by they definitely are going to um, be bringing out more Traitor Guardsmen hopefully. So I've bundled them in sort of um, pairs so you get two of these um, flamethrower um, Traitor Guardsmen really really cool I love the uh, gas masks and things and the um, canisters We've got little flasks and a little shovel um, and grenades, all kinds of things going on. I need to drill a hole in this flamer, in, in the flamers, but there we go. Really, really cool looking models. Um, so you get two of them. You get two of these guys, which look like they've got like a auto pistol or stub pistol. And this guy's got like a um, wooden stick or a mace or something. And he's just got like a cloth covering his um, face. These are gonna look excellent as um, just militia or um, cultists for even you know your, your Nurgle army I'm definitely going to use them in my um, Death Guard army um, as traitor guardsmen but yeah so you get two of those guys two of these with these uh, turbo flashlights I mean uh, las guns with a bayonet yes that is the most damaging part of that weapon right there um, and he's got some kind of cloak going on and he's got his face bandaged or wrapped and yeah another part of the cloak and he's also got this sort of combat knife so you get two of them two of these which kind of look like the sergeants he's got lance pistol and a really cool looking um mask and a really bitey chaos uh chainsaw with a spiked um handguard and then there's a skull by his foot and some spikes and a skull there and a grenade and a holder for his lance pistol really cool looking models just just on their own um and then you've got this guy running with a horrible looking blade Again, with the raggedy clothes and the rusted blades, <laughs> definitely you could fit them in your Death Guard army. Um, I do like the helmets too. And he's got a little chaos symbol on his um, holster. Awesome looking models. And then this guy, probably one of my favourites. This guy tossing a grenade. He's got quite a few more grenades on there. It looks like a demo charge or something too. Um, he's pulled the pin out. You can even see the pin that he's taken out of the grenade, which is awesome awesome looking mask and he's got his las gun um looks like a wooden barrel as well and some more grenades he's just got loads and loads of grenades he's definitely a gren grenadier um but yeah such an awesome li little model so two of them and then finally these guys holding holding fire holding stance um he's going metal gear solid in a way um with his uh, combat blade reverse grip uh and holding his um las gun he's got some kill markers on there and uh knife sort of um gash on his, his helmet and a little chaos symbol and some chain mail on the back of his armor and these these things these hooks that are coming out of his boots maybe there's tools or something i don't know quite ferocious looking um traitor guardsman but if you've seen some of the recent animated um videos on youtube uh the traitor guardsman just pop you know where space marines are concerned um so yeah these look ferocious against um lots of other different enemies but against space marines they yeah they just pop they don't stand a chance anyway that is all of the models uh sort of model by model run through let me show you some size comparisons so um next to the chaos space marines perfect size comparison this um absolutely brilliant this is this is the sizes that um should be happening um you can clearly see that that chaos space marine is way way taller you know heads and shoulders above this um five or six foot um traitor guardsman space marine is definitely between 
seven foot or so um, and has just got so much bulk in that power armor um, obviously yeah compared to the negavolt cultists uh, similar kind of height 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 range but they do have the bigger bases and they are more of a crouched hunched pose um, next to the urgals urgals are actually smaller um, but very very powerful and quick and next to the beastmen the beastmen dwarf them they're very very intimidating and um, bigger than the space marines even uh, so that's good. and then uh, compared to some imperial models here's a space marine space marines are just a bit taller but a lot more bulky and then the intercessors uh, the primaris really do dwarf them way way taller so hopefully those size comparisons have helped um, what I'll do now is just go through all the rules for the model for the unit so you find them in your Blackstone Fortress data sheet book um, they are a troop choice <laughs> believe it or not they're a power points cost of a 2 and a points cost of 35 for 7 so right there you're looking at 14 so it's going to cost you 70 points for those 14 which is an absolute bargain I'll tell you why per unit uh, it basically consists of one traitor sergeant and six traitor guardsmen so you get your seven for the traitor guardsmen their stat line reads movement six inches weapon skill four plus ballistic skill four plus strength and toughness are both three one wound one attack leadership six and a save of five plus now the sergeant has one more attack it attacks two and leadership of seven but everything else is the same the sergeant is armed with a las pistol chain sword and frag grenades so I was right in terms of those sergeants with the chainsaws. Um, they are, well, the models with the chainsaws, they are the sergeants. Um, the tra one traitor guardsman is armed with a flamer and frag grenades. Two traitor guardsmen are each armed with a lasgun and frag grenades. And then one traitor guardsman is armed with a lasgun, frag grenades and crack grenades. And finally, two traitor guardsmen are each armed with a brutal assault weapon, frag grenades and either a las pistol or altar pistol. So there you go. Now the auto pistols and las pistols are exactly the same stat line. They're a 12 inch range weapon, pistol one, strength three, AP zero and a damage of one. The flamer is a shorter range, it's eight inches, but it is assault D6, strength four, AP zero, damage one, and it automatically hits its target. So that's good that you get your, you know, D6 shots. Uh, you can always get your D6 shots that automatically hit. Your last gun is a 24 inch rapid fire one, strength three, AP zero and a damage one. So it's just double the range of the pistol um, and it's rapid fire one. The brutal assault weapon and the chain swords are both exactly the same. So it's strength of the user, which will be free, AP zero and a damage of one. And each time the bearer fights, it can make one additional attack with the weapon. So two of your traitor guardsmen are gonna have two attacks and your sergeant is going to be having three attacks. Not too bad, but yeah, it is a weapon skill four and strength three. The frag grenades, uh, usual six inch grenade D6 and a strength of three, AP zero and damage one. And your crack grenades are six inches again, grenade one, strength six, uh, AP minus one and a damage of D3. Abilities, just they've just got the servants of the abyss, which means that if they include, if your army includes um, obsidious Malix, then you've got to set them up at the same time and you've got to set the unit up within six inches of him or in the same transport. Keywords, Chaos, Servants of the Abyss, Infantry and Traitor Guardsmen. So not the best unit in, in the game at all. Uh, they are a cheap um, troops choice though at 70 points match play and for 14 bodies on the table. You're going to have a few attacks, you're going to have a few shots. Um, you're best off just with them running at the enemy and trying to th um, toss those strength six grenades in my opinion um, because that's the best weapons that they have gr the grenades the flamer is all right uh, in terms of um, automatically hitting but you are relying on um, you know d6 uh, rather than you know a set number of shots but i suppose it has its um, place you're really just going to get this squad to make up the numbers and to get two really cheap um troop choices uh, if it was me though uh, and I wanted to pick uh, the specific troops I'd probably go with the the actual space marines more and the um, chaos beastmen over the uh, guardsmen because chaos beastmen I said it before I'll say it again you just can't beat the 24 points for, for four of them uh, with all of their buffs and things that they have Anyway, what do you guys think of these Traitor Guardsmen? Do you really like the models? Do you want to see more? Do you want to see heavy weapons teams? I really do. Um, it'd be great to see uh, this 
part of the range expanded and I hope they do um, with the new uh, Shadow Spear uh, set coming out. Put it in the comments below, it'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Papa bless.